Timmy Tech TV's coverage of PAX Prime 2014 brought to you in part by AMD Gaming Evolved and the all-new R9 285. Make your competition green with envy. Hey guys, Tim here again with Timmy Tech TV at PAX Prime 14. We're here at the Never Alone booth, one of the, in my opinion, most anticipated indie games of the year. We're here with Grant. Tell us a little bit about the game and a little bit about how you guys came up with such an interesting, you know, kind of organic platformer game. Well, it was actually, so the, the Cook Inlet Tribal Council, or CITC, is based in uh, northern Alaska, and they actually approached uh, us a few years ago. They approached E-Line to say, we want to make a game to, to share our culture and, also, and our stories with, with as wide an audience as possible. So they approached us first. So we said, okay, we would like to make a game about, uh, about this culture. And so we made this atmospheric puzzle platformer, and we kind of built the team over the last few years, and, and we're in constant collaboration with the Nupiak people and with CITC and Upper One Games and everything and along the way. They come down to Seattle to help us out. We uh, fly up there to meet them, to learn from them, and, and, and talk to them about how we can help tell their stories. So it's gone really well. It's amazing. So uh, what engine are you guys using? We're using Unity, which has been really useful for getting something up and running really fast, and also for, as we've grown and become a bigger project, uh, it's kind of scaled along with us in a really good way. So we were using Unity, which also really helps when we're releasing on November 4th on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One and PC, and Unity really helps us do that. If we were doing it on our own engine or using something else, I think it would have been a lot more tricky, but Unity really helps out. So you'd mentioned when we were talking just a minute ago that you were overwhelmed by the response of people. Tell us a little bit about what that's been like, especially, like, I don't think you guys kickstarted or anything. So how how is that, like, how do you guys feel about it? And, like, what's the fan response been? And Well, we, you know, when we were making the game internally, we... We collaborated, like I said, with the Anupi people a lot to kind of hone the, the game we were trying to make and the stories we were trying to tell. And so we were feeling pretty good about where we were at. And we, we have a pretty good sense of what we wanted to make and the story we wanted to tell. Um, but we didn't know how the public was going to receive it. You know, our main goal was to make this game fun and to make people enjoy it. But we didn't know how the, if the public was going to be interested in that or not, you know. So over the last like six months or so as we've been starting to go public and as the press has started to pick it up we've been like i said completely blown away by by the universally positive reaction and just widespread mainstream media outlets and big time websites and just individual people coming up to us saying you know that this game looks amazing and you know thanking us for making it which is always a little uh, a little intimidating but we think it turned out pretty great so far. You know, we're not done yet. There's a long way to go. We're we're in finishing mode now, but we're getting there. Well, it has a really cute fox, so. <laughs> that really helps, yeah. I recommend that all games put a, a cute Arctic fox in your game, and then everybody will love you. That's as, It's as easy as that. So, guys, again, check it out. Coming November 4th, like I said, it is definitely one of the most anticipated games of 2014. This is Tim for Timmy Tech TV. We'll see you guys next time.